Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. people. How good it is, how wonderful. To, to live together, together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones, stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our, our mouths shall, shall proclaim your praise. praise. Rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our feelings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God. I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the life of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives and the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we, we affirm, affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 98 Sing to God a new song, for God has done marvellous things, revealing true salvation in the sight of all the nations. God has remembered the trust and care promised to faithful people. All the ends of the earth have seen God's saving power. Sing out your joy, all the earth. Break into songs. Sing praises. Praise God with the lute and harp. Strum out beautiful melodies. Praise God with trumpets and horns. Let them make a joyful noise. Let the sea and its creatures roar. Let the world and its people shout. Let the rivers clap their hands and the hilltops sing for joy. Praise the God who comes to judge the earth with justice and govern its people with fairness. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is from the Gospel according to John, chapter 7, reading verses 1 to 9. After this, Jesus went about to in Galilee. He did not wish to go about in Judea, because the Jews were looking for an opportunity to kill him. Now the Jewish festival of booths was near, so his brothers said to him, Leave here and go to Judea, so that your disciples also may see the work you are doing. For no one who wants to be widely known acts in secret. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For not even his brothers believed in him. Jesus said to them, My time has not yet come, but your time is always here. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify against it that its works are evil. Go to the festival yourselves. I am not going to this festival, for my time has not yet fully come. After saying this, he remained in Galilee. For the word of God in Scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks be to God.
nor to Parliament or Queen, nor to Capital or Capital, blessing what is always seen. Oh, for us it's our Isaiah 61, verses 1 to 3. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed. This was the passage from Isaiah that Jesus read out on that Sabbath day in the synagogue right at the beginning of his ministry. Oh, doesn't he read well? one of our own young people helping to lead worship. His mum must be proud, gives you a warm gl glow, doesn't it? Comfortable words, because we've heard them before somewhere, like folk who only go to church on weddings, funerals and Christmas Day. At one point, that was our family. The vicar always asked me, a young person, to read about the shepherds abiding in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night, which I did, relishing the words, not sure why. Words from a long way off. What do they have to do with our lives? Then the story of St. Nicholas, fourth century bishop, who is said to have saved three young women from prostitution by throwing three bags of gold for dowries through their window one night. He became patron saint of sailors, children, merchants, pawnbrokers, and he became Santa Claus, a warm glow if there ever was one. Stories, words, a warm glow, or real hope for real people in real need. The poor, the powerless, the captives, the mourners, not so cosy in the real world. Good news for the poor might be bad news for the well-off. Release for prisoners raises all questions for well-meaning society. Our efforts alone cannot offer oil of gladness instead of mourners' tears. Let us pray. The poor, the broken-hearted, the prisoners, the mourners, we can make it a reverent and irrelevant litany, like counting cherry stones. Tinker, tailor, soldier, sailor, rich man, poor man, beggar man, thief. What has this got to do with us, God? Sailors, children, merchants, pawnbrokers, when will it come to us? This year, next year, sometime, never. Yet we remember that when Jesus read these words, he added, Today and now. These words are coming true. Come true for us, uncomfortable God, here and now. Amen.
bright star maker God, travel with us through Advent. Shine into our dark corners. Lead us into ways of justice. Help us to care for our planet. Warm us with joy and wonder. Bring us to new birth. On the 22nd day, we pray for people without homes, displaced peoples, refugees and asylum seekers, our own commitment to radical hospitality, and for these countries, Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, and for members belonging to the family group of Black Mountain, Francis Buxton, Peter Kopp and Melia, Martin Edwards and Julie Nedden, Neil Galbright and Joe Reid, and East Anglia, Fiona Halforth, and Martin with Leonard, Neville, Kambata and Wal, Jacqueline Morton, Diane Nicholson, Jan Smith, Gail Southgate, and Stephen Southgate. On the 22nd day of this month, we pray for associate members in the USA Northwest Group. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. O oh God, you gave to your servant Columba gifts of courage, faith, and cheerfulness, and sent out your servants from Iona to carry your gospel to every creature. Further in all things the purpose of this community, that hidden things may be revealed to us, and new ways found to touch the hearts of all. May, may we, we preserve, preserve with each other sincere charity and peace, and, and if, if it be your holy will, grant that, that this place of your abiding continue still to be a sanctuary and a light. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek peace and pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of Love, God in community, holy and one.